Hey guys, welcome back to Baronesis Math Club. Today's topic is introduction to integers. In this lesson, we will be learning how we can determine whether a, a number or an integer is a positive or a negative number, okay? So now, the main thing that you need to keep in mind for this lesson is that there can only be two categories when identifying whether a number, when, whether an integer is positive or negative, which is it can either be a positive or a negative, okay? So that means you only have two things that you can say, whether it's a positive number or it's a negative number. Now, how we can tell whether a number is a positive or a negative is through the sign. Now, the sign for positive is a plus sign, and the sign for a negative is a minus sign. So that means if you see any number or integer, whatever you prefer to call it, with a plus sign, you should automatically know it's a positive number. And if you see any number with a minus sign or subtraction sign, you should automatically know it is a negative number, okay? So now we have this example. It says determine whether the following numbers are positive or negative, okay? So that means only two categories, positive or negative, okay? <clears throat> Now here we have the steps, and step one says determine the sign in front of the integer, and remember the signs are plus or minus. Now our first example is 56. Now as you can see there is no sign in front of 56, but if we keep reading in our steps, step two says if there is no sign then it is a positive number. So we know that a positive number has to have a plus sign in front of it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is write a plus sign in front of 56. So now we know that 56 is a positive number, okay? Now, number 2 says minus 17, or we could call this a negative 17 because anything with a minus sign is a negative number. So this one, they already told us a sign. We just have to tell whether it's a positive or a negative, and we know that if it has a minus sign, it has to be a negative number. And now example number three is a plus 35. Now a plus sign, positive, that means 35 is a positive number. Now if we go ahead and take a look at our last example, which is a zero, remember this rule always. Whenever you're dealing with integers, okay, zero is not a positive number. Okay, so zero is not a positive, but nor is it a negative, okay? So that means, all this really means is that 0 is not a positive, it's not a negative. It is still an integer, however, it is not a positive or a negative number. So most likely you will not see this as an example, like whenever you're um, learning integers, okay? They're most likely not going to give you this, like determine whether 0 is a positive or a negative because it's a little obvious it's not a positive or a negative, but it is still an integer, okay? So then in those cases, if you do find yourself in a situation, you could just write 0 is not a positive nor is it a negative number, okay? So now that we have determined the sign, and number three it had also said that if there's a subtraction sign, we already did that, it is a negative number, okay? Now step number four says, once you have determined the sign, just identify whether the number is a positive whole number or a negative number. Now we already know if it has a plus sign, it's a positive, negative sign, minus sign, it's a negative, right? So we'll, we'll go ahead and write whether it's a positive or a negative, okay? So, sorry. We know that 56 is a positive because it has a plus sign, so we'll write a P. 17 is a negative because it has a minus sign. 35 is a positive because it has a plus sign. And 0, we have it over here. 0 is not a positive, nor is it a negative number. Okay, remember this rule always whenever you're dealing with integers, okay? Now, another thing that I want to cover in this video, we already know how to determine whether a number is a positive or a negative. But also, keep this thing in mind. Whenever you're dealing with integers, most likely your teachers will give you examples in which you have to draw a number line, okay? So let's go ahead and draw a number line here. All right, so here's my net line. Now, here's the basic rule that you need to know about number lines in integers. Zero is going to be the center of your number line, always. Since it's not a positive, it's not a negative, it is always going to be in the center of your number line. Now, also remember this rule. Anything to the right side Okay, so we have the right side and we have the left side. Anything to the right side of the number line is going to be a positive number, okay? And that means if it has, it's going to be on the left side, it has to be a negative number because there's only two categories, okay? Positive and negative, okay? <clears throat> so that means if we have, let's say, on a number line, 
56, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and put this. This is a random number. We have 56, okay? And it's to the right side. It doesn't say positive or negative. We should automatically know. We know that, okay, it is to the right side of the zero. That means it has to be a positive number, okay? Now, let's say a number, let's say the integer negative 15, okay? It is to the left side of the number line, so we should automatically know it is a negative number. And it could be any number. It could be negative 750. It could be probably, because most likely when they have positive numbers, they're not going to put the plus sign in front of it. So most likely you'll just see numbers like 56, 57, 1,800, or it could have the plus sign in front of it. It could be 386. It could be any number, but just keep this in mind. If it is to the right side of the number line, it is a positive. If it's to the neg left side, sorry, it's a negative, okay? So that's pretty much all I have for this video, okay? I really hope you guys understood this. Now, if you wanna find extra practice problems, please feel free to visit our website at brownsysmathclub.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.